hello there dear friend welcome to the channel and thank you for watching in this video i'm going to do my match review between brighton and man united what i can say from the get-go is lucky 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 united what a game of football man brighton been very unlucky hitting the post and united been very lucky by scoring goals out of nowhere harry maguire scored that goal i don't know it was just confusion in uh, the defense and he took advantage and scored a goal and their second goal uh, rashford that was a golasso i have to admire and uh, say congratulations to uh, rashford because oh my gosh he put everybody on the floor everybody on the floor in that uh, brighton defense so you have to admire and uh, applaud some art because football is an art and marcus rashford showed us how the art is performed sometimes even though he hasn't really been um consistent lately but you have just to admire what uh, rashford can do on his day so the penalty for brighton wow mope <laughs> hey what a panenka what a penalty and he made the goalkeeper look like a fool the hair i just didn't even know how to do with it but hey this is a kind of uh, penalties that can make you look like a genius or can make you look like a fool if uh, the goalkeeper uh can save that panenka but anyways man let's talk about Tariq Lamptey from the get-go I will tell you that it won't be long before Real Madrid Barcelona uh, Bayern Munich or Borussia Dortmund PSG come calling because the boy is so good very very good player and uh, I know I'm a Chelsea fan and sometimes you ask yourself why did we let Lamptey go but remember back in the day he wasn't that good well or at least we didn't discover him in that level okay he was fighting with Rhys James and when you why when you are fighting with Rhys James who already had an experience in the championship and who got the physique you know and um some other abilities that uh, Lamptey probably doesn't have you you tend to give advantage to Rhys James right but Lamptey been through all kind of uh, uh, problems you know with his size nobody really believed in him but now he's showing people but that sometimes in football size doesn't matter if you use your head correctly so can you imagine Alfonso Davis in the other side and Tariq Lamptey the other way? It's going to be a bomb, right? So Lamptey, I'm so happy to see my own brother doing very good in the Premier League now. And that is a lesson for all the people who are not patient about youngsters. We know Lamptey today because he's given a chance at Brighton. At Chelsea, we were not even going to know him because he was going to be on the bench all the time, play 10 minutes here, 5 minutes there, and until he um, he loses his confidence. That's how Chelsea Football Club managed to kill a lot of talent over the years because we can't give them a chance. If you go to other teams or other leagues, you will find um youngsters 17 18 years old already playing in the first team already have like 50 to 100 games before the age of 20. so we tend always to praise everybody from another team or from another league just because they are performing good now but we forgot uh that they've been through a lot of hard time they they made a lot of mistakes and they were allowed to make those mistakes and learn from those mistakes and that's why they are good today 
If you look at uh, Kai Harvard, he got more than 100 games already in the Bundesliga. He's been in the Bundesliga for the last four years and he's only 21 years old. The same with Timo Werner, the same with uh, Upa Mencano and all the big names that we know around the world. If you don't give them chances to prove themselves, make mistakes and learn from those mistakes, there is nothing they can improve on. So Tomori, when I see people criticizing Tomori, criticizing other uh, players at Chelsea Football Club, Tammy Abram and all that, they are just ignorant. They don't understand anything how football works. So Tariq Lempty, good luck, brother. Let's go back to the game. All I can say is that uh, Brighton were very, very unlucky. How many chances they had? How many posts they hit? Oh my goodness. And United were very, very lucky. And sometimes in football, luck is a big part of the game. You know what I mean? You need a little bit of luck in certain games that you are not good. And uh, United took advantage of the luck and the clinical finishing from uh, Rashford. So I'm not complaining about it. And the last minute of the game, drama, drama, drama. Brighton equalized, well deserved. But in the stopping time, a penalty. Mope went from hero to zero. Basically, the last kick of the game. Oh my goodness. This is football, man. Like I said, sometimes you need a little bit of luck. The game went from 2-2 to 3-2 because of the penalty in the last kick of the game. And like I said, in football, sometimes you need a little bit of luck. And United were very lucky. But I can say the best team lost.